Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast from javascript.info, the modern javascript tutorial. We are all the way down to section 5.1 methods of primitives in the data types area. And as soon as I say methods of primitives, you might be saying, wait, that doesn't make any sense because methods are things that objects can do. And we're talking about primitives, the six primitive types being string, such as name, number, such as regular, Boolean, such as FT for full time, symbol, which creates a unique value, null, an intentional nothing, and undefined when we have a variable that has never been assigned a value, such as something like that. Company is now undefined. So how can a primitive have a method? We typically and correctly think of a primitive as being assigned to a number, string, Boolean, undefined, null, or symbol. But look here on lines 16 and 17. In both of these lines, I'm just console logging out some information. In this case, I'm console logging out the name variable, which is Lisa, and I'm using a method, to uppercase. Now this method does not have any arguments, so there's nothing inside the parentheses but we know it's a method because it has parentheses. So I'm applying a method to a primitive. How can that be? In line 17, I've got the total variable and it's a number primitive and I'm applying a fixed method to it and it needs a piece of information in order to know how many digits to display to the right of the decimal point and I'm feeding it two. So in both cases, a string and a number, I'm using methods on them. Let's see calc salary run with those two console logs and talk about what's happened. So on line 16, it did change the name to uppercase and it did change the total on line 17 to fixed with digits to the right of the decimal point. And the reason this happens is that behind the scenes, JavaScript, when it sees a method being applied to a primitive in both of these cases, it automatically behind the scenes wraps that primitive in an object of the same type. So name is being wrapped with string object. The total value, because it's a number, is being wrapped with number object. And once that statement runs, then the object is destroyed and we're back to the primitive. So it's correct to say that a primitive may not contain methods and properties. It's just a primitive. A primitive just contains a value but we can still use methods and properties against the primitive, relying on the power of JavaScript to wrap that piece of information with an object from JavaScript that contains the methods and properties that we probably want to use. Now, obviously all methods too fixed would not make sense on a string primitive and too uppercase would not make sense on a number primitive. So the object wrapper respects the data type of the primitive and provides many different methods and properties for you to use. Let me show you another one, function show letters. In this case, I am doing a for loop and I'm going to run it for the length property of the name. And what is the name? The name is a primitive, Lisa. Its length is four. But again, how can a primitive have a property? Now we know that length's a property and not a method because Methods have parentheses because they must be run like functions. A property is just a piece of information about the object, but name is not an object. It's a primitive. However, when I call the dot length property on it, again, the string object wrapper, thank you, JavaScript, wraps that name primitive, provides the length property, and allows you to continue on. And in this case, on line 23, I'm going to console log out name and then square bracket I, which is going to be name zero through name three to log out the letters of my name. And you know what that syntax is. That's array syntax where we're going through the items in an array. In this case, we're simply going through the letters of the name. So let's run show letters. And there we go, L-I-S-A from the show letters function. So that's what this lesson's about. Primitives are just primitives. But behind the scenes, you can call certain methods and certain properties on those primitives. And JavaScript will take care of wrapping the primitive with the correct object type to give you access to those methods that you're going to want to use on that primitive. Thank you.